And I really should stop my recording here, honestly, but I um, think I'm just going to continue to um, to keep going and get this content done for you guys, just in case, just in case my schedule changes yet again, and I just completely run out of time. It also occurs to me that um, I don't think I did that that shrine back by the stable. Hmm. No, I um I figure at this point since I've kind of impulsed my way into heading to the Goron location anyway, I don't necessarily need to stop and take inputs from you guys right now, because um. Because I'm, I'm getting ready to get into, like, story stuff, right? Um, hopefully I'm right about that. I'm also hoping, now that I kind of remember that I forgot to do that shrine, I think. Because I don't remember what it was if I did it. Ugh, because I'm a freaking idiot. Um, now that I'm thinking I probably forgot to do that shrine, I'm definitely hoping there's a shrine in Goron City. There's, like, mining tracks. That's cool. Um, in Goron City, kind of like there was one in Zora's Domain. What was that? Um, except for terrifying. Or other than terrifying, rather. Um, okay. Um, anyway, I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's a shrine in Goron City, which I'm still going towards Goron City, right? Yep, and I'm, I'm close, apparently. Um, like there was in Zora's Domain. Because that way I can leave and then come back very easily. I don't even know where the city is relative to me right now. It looks like I'm up in the frickin' volcano. And there's the Divine Beast, holy shit. It's a, it's a Lizzo, it's a Lizzo boy. I like it, I like this one a lot. He's got a lot of personality. Ruta did too though, technically, I guess. Just chilling out up there. He's not gonna attack me, is it? I also like how absolutely metal the lava looks in this game. Okay. Um, it says the city's like right that way. I mean, it looks like... Is this just it? Is this Goron City? Okay. Is there a shrine here? It looks like there's some ore down there. Right by that, that flesh-melting lava. Gimme. Seriously, man? Gimme that. Gimme that. Don't fall in the lava. Um. Hey. You have a quest. Drat, that blasted Rudania. What's wrong? With Rudania running wild, recently Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. It's called Death Mountain, man. Do you see Rudania stomping around up there on the mountain? And they say that a hundred years ago it actually used to protect our people from harm, but that was then and this is now. Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing business. I can't tell you how many times we've used the cannon to chase off that fiend, but it always comes back. Arg! Yo, Chow, uh, are you again? Okay? Uh, it's just a back pain. Wait, who are you? I'm a traveler. Not one of those Yiga ones, though. Oh, I see. So then, you came all this way to pay your respects to me? I like you already, brother. Well, my name is Bluto. It's a good name. I'm the great Goron boss. Who's fierce enough to silence a crying child? <laughs> That's hilarious. Or to make a silenced child cry, either way. Uh, yes, it's none other than I, Pluto. 
I was planning to drive off Redonia like I always do, but then my or then this blast of pain in my back fired up out of nowhere. Mm. Yeah, that blasted Yanobo. Yeah, when we return, who, who is Yanobo? Yanobo is the young Goron who helps me drive off Redonia. He went to grab some painkillers for my back from the abandoned North Mine, but he hasn't come back yet. Slacker, I bet he's off somewhere, wasted time. Hey, if you want to see Yonobo, or if you happen to see, God, I've been playing the game for too long now, apparently. If you happen to see Yonobo, will you let him know I'm looking for him? Yeah, sure. Arg! Ugh, oh, ouch. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so that's the Divine Beast quest already, holy shit. Um. What's in here? Big old throne. Alright, probably that guy's throne. Oh, I only have 40 seconds of flame guard left before I have to take another flame guard. Um. I can't tell what anything is here either. Is there like an armor shop with like armor that keeps me from dying in the fire? An inn, okay. Um, there's a clothing shop. Is there anything with fireproof here? Please, God, say there is. What is this? Don't have enough rupees. Okay. Let's, uh... Drink another one of these. God, alright. Hey! You're out late, I see. Lucky for you, Ripped and Shredded is open for business 24 hours a day. I want to sell. What do you want to sell? Uh, whatever you'll take, frankly. Um, should have checked how much the other parts of that cost. I was just looking at the chest plate. Alright, by mostly selling off gems and monster parts, I sold, sold off a couple other things too. Um, I'm up over 2,000 rupees now. Uh, I want to buy. Ooh. Yeah, okay, going anywhere hotter than Goron City. Never forget anyone in Goron, anyhow. Okay. What do these do exactly? Fire resistant rocks to protect the wearer. Flame guard, okay, which is what I have right now, active right now on me. Seven, six. That's 2,000? Oh, on its own? Protect tourists from. Visiting Goron City as its flame resistance isn't enough of a selling point. It also covers your entire head. What? Do I need all of these to be entirely flame proof? Because I don't think I can swing that. Because that's it's thirteen hundred just for these two. I can't I can't get myself another thirteen hundred rupees right now. Hold on a second. I'm going to go look this up real quick. Okay, so apparently you only need one piece of this to survive. Um, also, apparently I could have gotten one for free if I had come up the right way and done a side quest. But, you know. You know. So, technically I could buy... Could I buy just the pants and be fine then? Because cause the pants are only as good as my pants. Like, whereas this is way worse than my, my Link shirt. Um, so I think I'm going to actually... I'm actually going to do this one. Hopefully that's right. Because apparently just this one is enough that you'll survive, and it's got the fa same flame guard effect on it, right? So let's put these on. I should be okay now, then, right? Right? Uh, let's also go ahead and put this back on, just because it's because for the higher armor for now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't expect to actually need it for anything. I mean, I guess I could buy the armor too, but why? If if the pants do it, if if the pants are enough, then why even bother buying the armor? Okay. Where's the shrine? Um, 
That looks like something that would propel me upwards. Shall we find out? Shall we go around to the other side where it actually is and find out? Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Um, save the game. <laughs> oh, this is a bad idea, man. Okay, cool. It actually did. Oh, that's like a hand. Oh, hey, there's a big old Goron. Look at that. Is that like the champion or something? Or is that like a character from past games that I should know? Where's the, where's that shrine? Where's the where, Come on, shrine sensor. Help me out, man. Seriously. It stopped shrine sensing. This way, looks like. Go up and around. Because there, if there's a shrine in the area, I definitely want to activate it, right? Yeah, there it is. I see it. Okay, cool. The Shea Mosa Shrine. Okay, cool. Here, read my cell phone. What? What the hell is that? Oh, it's like a fire octorok or something. Um, my arrows are catching fire. That's neat. Okay, sure. Oh, there's another one. Alright, so I'm assuming this is the way I was supposed to come into town then, because there's enemies here, right? Maybe I could go down this way and find whoever was supposed to give me that free armor? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. You know you wanna. <sighs> okay, that broke my guardian shield. Thanks. Did that not kill him? Seriously? This guy's pissing me off. There we go. Jeez, I hate those things. They're so annoying. Shoot. That was too early. Shoot. Just shoot the thing. Come on. Yeah, I'm right here. Shoot the thing. Come on. That, that, that was still too early? Are you kidding? How far down there is this guy? Also too early? Are you kidding me? At least my bombs regenerate really hella fast right now. There's people there, too. Who are getting themselves murderized. Oh, no, that's a bird. I thought it was a person. It was a stinking bird. Dang it, man, stop. You are pissing me right off. Oh, I killed the bird, at least. And the meat's cooking. Look at that. Finally, dear God. Here, give me this, please. Roasted bird thigh. Dear God. Hit so many of my temp hearts. That sucks. Um, I, I noticed, though, I'm hanging out out here, and I don't think I'm technically in the city. And, um, yeah, I'm, this is a different location. And I'm not dying of, of, like, fire. So I guess the fire pants work. Okay, cool. Um, let's go check out this shrine real quick. 
Um, it might make the episode run a little long if it's like a complicated one. But um, if I do this one and if I'm right, I really don't remember doing the one by the stables. So if I didn't do the one by the stables, then um, maybe over the next couple of episodes I can uh, get me a couple more magical orb thingies and go get another heart or something. Yeah, yeah, drop me. Come on. What is, what is this one? Okay. It's just a big room. Swinging flames! Okay. What? What is over there? There's something over there, apparently. Okay. What is? What did the button do? So I'm assuming... Come on. That that has to happen, right? So that'll happen. Is there like something on the ground here now that I burn stuff up now? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, let's, um... Let's just go whole hog on these guys, I think. Hey, that's rude. Stop that shit. The other one should be a one hit too, right? Yep, alright, cool. And I took a couple hits, but it was fine. The guardian sword there too, I want that. Those are those are still pretty solid, right? Hmm. It's dead in my soldier's broadsword, I guess. Like, it's not a huge difference in power, but still. Grab this, whatever it is. So it's probably just a, a weapon that I can't take. I don't know. Ruby, that's good. Okay. Alright, what else was in this room? Big old wheel. This, this is kind of complicated. I'm hoping... Can I climb this? I can. Uh, to a point. Okay. I'm 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 kind of hoping this isn't going to take too much longer. There's a ramp over there. It looks like let's climb that and see what's up there. Probably more enemies. I don't see any enemies though with my magic see-through walls shirt. Okay, that's just a, that's just a straight up key. That is a straight up dungeon key door which um I did not think this game had. Okay. Boom. Okay. That just drops that. It doesn't actually open that gate. So how do I open that gate to let the ball down? 
How do I get to that? Hmm. Maybe this opens the gate. Does this open the gate? Okay. Does that stay open? Neat. Small key. Alright, cool. And that shuts. Okay, fantastic. Maybe I can get down from here. It looks like it. This is a pretty complicated one. I like it. It's like this is probably the end though, right? Oh no, there is there is more to this. Okay. Okay. How do I get it over there then? That one falls. Does the other one maybe not fall? And I can like kick it over? Now it just explodes right there. Okay, that is not the button I meant to hit at all. Shoot. Good thing they're infinite, apparently. Maybe I can, like, stasis it? Can I stasis it? I can. Maybe I can, like... Like, I did not mean to do that. Like, hit it over. And then stasis it while it's swinging. And then cut the rope. There we go, that worked. Come on, set it down, man. And that's the end. Okay, cool. That was fun. I liked it. Thought that was a chest for a second, but it was just a glowy spot on the wall. Hello, mummy man. Give me give me that magic. That old black magic. Yep, thanks, man. I'm, I'm not paying attention. Uh huh. Cool. Yep, see you later.